all good morning for me. <laughs> um, hello, everyone, and um, happy time zone, wherever you are, whatever time of day it is. Uh, I'm Betsy Ko, and we're here for another um, new member Q&A via Zoom. Um, and new, the, the term new is, is in quotes, it's new-ish, so it doesn't matter if you've been on Wikitree for for six days or six years. If you have some questions, um, this is the place to come where we can we can talk about it in real time and screen share and and um, get you hopefully get you going where you want to go on Wikitree. Um, it's definitely a um, a tricky learning curve. Um, once you get up and running, um, people sort of they find that they they accelerate. And um, but you do have to, you know, stick with it through a little bit of a, a growth phase. So I'm um, really happy to have everyone here um, with me co-hosting. We have um, Hillary Gadsby, uh, who's over in Wales, and Murray Maloney, who's um, oh, there you are <laughs> from Canada. Um, just to give you a little background on me, uh, I've been, been on Wikitree. Um, for almost five years now, um, coming up on it. And I, I myself went through the learning curve period. Um, I, in outside of Wikitree, I am a teacher, I'm a music teacher. And so um, I thought a really nice way to give back to the community would be to um, apply my teaching skills. And I, I learned how to uh, teach over online platforms during the pandemic as all of us teachers did. So that's how the, the Zoom Q&A sessions were born. Um, where I spend time on Wikitree is um, I'm a member of several projects. I'm in the England, Wales, Scotland, uh, Canada projects. And I just started uh, coordinating the new Taiwan project. Uh, I'm a mentor and I, I help on the events committee. So um, the, the the wiki games, the rock, um, random, uh, the um, which is random acts of wiki tree kindness, uh, the thons, um, I'm actively involved in helping make all of those happen. Hillary, you, you want to tell a little bit about yourself? Yeah, I'm one of the project coordinators for the um, England and Wales um, groups. I'm also one of the greeters. So when you joined that, you may have been greeted by me, you may have been greeted by one of the other greeters. Um, there's a few of us that we cover, try to cover the whole 24 hours as much as possible. Um, I'm, uh, I'm as, as project coordinator, I'm involved with the Orphan Trail. I'm one of the um, Orphan Trail um, project coordinators. So uh, if you've heard of that. <laughs> Wonderful, thank you. And Murray, would you introduce yourself? Hello everyone, uh, I'm Murray Maloney. I'm a retired technical writer. I do some of the technical documentation for the Wikitree browser extension and a couple of the tree apps from Greg Clark. And I pitch in here with Betsy when I can, and I'm happy to see you all. Fantastic. So I know that Pam had said something in advance on the G2G thread about wanting to see a demonstration of how to create a personal category, and we can definitely do that. I also had it in mind to demonstrate how to add a profile uh, connecting on to an existing profile um, and show how to upload photo a photo if anyone's interested in that. Um, so um, if you have other questions, um, definitely, you know, we have, we have an hour today. So um, please go ahead and, and put that in the chat. And, um, you know, one of us who's not talking will, will flag, will flag that or, or, rate, you know, use your little, um, you know, Zoom hand raising capability. <laughs> um, Hillary, Anne has a question um, about being greeted. Do, did you see that? Oh, yeah, I'm just in the process of answering her. <laughs> I was. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, um, but I can answer anyway, because um, she was asking about, because uh, I said I'd, people greet, get greeted when they join. Um, 
and a lot of people probably forget he who even greeted them um it's just so that everybody get knows that there's somebody there that they can ask when you first join um if you need help later on you're probably best um contacting the mentors project because um if you're struggling the mentors can help you a bit with your whatever you're struggling with um if and if you if you um are clear as to what sort of thing you're 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 struggling with then they'll obviously um hopefully get you the right mentor or if one mentor doesn't does can't quite help you they usually um pass you on to somebody else that may be in a better position to help you because i'm also i uh, i am a mentor but at the moment i'm uh, uh pause i've got one person i'm um mentoring um but she's not particularly active so um i'm not doing a, a great deal with the mentors at the moment but i i have been mentoring people in the past as well so um, mm. quite often you find that the greet quite a few of the greeters end up being mentors as well because we tend to know a bit about what's going on in WikiTree. so mm -hmm. terrific and um by the way you know the mentors project is um is really a wonderful thing about WikiTree. um so you know if you feel like you want to be paired up with an, a more experienced wiki -treer, um you know, just just go to that project page, um, and and you can be you can be paired up with somebody. Um, so let let us know if you have more questions about that, um, Pam. I what I'd like to do is I'd like to do the personal categories, um, not not first, um, since that's a little bit more of an intermediate skill. So is is that okay with you? Yep. And so. Um, is that does every is everybody interested in seeing a, a profile creation? Yes, just walking through that, especially with uh, with Connectathon coming up, um, and I know a few of you are signed up to do Connectathon. Who signed up? Who doesn't know what I'm talking about? So Connectathon is one of our um, and big um, yearly events. There are usually three Connectathons throughout the year um, where the whole community, well, you sign up, you register for the event. We usually have about 800 wiki triers sign up for the event. And the goal is to connect as many profiles as you can to already existing profiles. And we have teams. Um, many of them are um, geographically based. We have the Canadian Connectors. Um, we have uh, Team Italy, um, Mid-Atlantic US. Um, we also have teams that are a little not geographically based. Um, and one of those, which you should know about, is the Newt team. Um, and so, yeah, Pam, Pam is going to be on the Newt team with me, brand new brand new team um, where it's for people who have not done a thon before. And so um, I know with the thons, a lot of times people get really into it, you know, like with, you know, massive numbers of profiles and points, but the new team is not about that. The new team is about learning and about having a good time and camaraderie. There's a, there are 25 of us signed up right now. Um, and we're, the plan is to give extra support. So um, we're going to have a Zoom meeting on April 4th, which is a little more than a week before the event uh, to, you know, to get organized, show some skills. Um, I have, I'm so lucky to have two coaches also with me on the team, Kathy Zipper and Dave Draper. Um, so we're going to have um, little subgroups within our team and just make sure that everybody is supported and able to work on WikiTree, you know, from where they are and go onward and upward. So um, please consider that. I'll, I'll put that link in at the end. Um, okay, so um, let me go to, let me just... Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do today um, for creating a profile is I'm going to um, add, add on to Mabel Wilson. Um, and she was married three times. So I have two of her husbands. And um, now I'm going to add in her third husband, um, 
uh, George F. Silkworth. So when you go to add a profile uh, in Wikitree, you do have to do a little homework in advance. Uh, now, lucky for me, um, I had um, I found him on um, on Family Search. And if you don't already have a Family Search account, I really recommend that you get one because um, it well it's free, just like Wikitree, um, and it gives you access to a very large uh, collection of sources and um, and it creates the citations for you. And it's, it's just really kind of a win-win. Once you have it, you'll find yourself using it constantly. So um, I, I'm now going to go to the sources tab for George. And um, now he has 11 sources. Now I will say some of you may already know that it's possible to use the sourcer extension and grab all 11 of these sources, assuming that you've you know gone through them and they're all good. You can do that all in one swoop. I'm not gonna do that today, um, just to show you sort of the more manual process. So what I, since, I, since I'm adding him on as a spouse, I'm going to go see, we have his, his uh, marriage record in 1922 to Mabel. Um, and um, it's, I'm going to go to the web page. Um, it's, it's really helpful because it gives me his father's name, his mother's maiden name, um, Mabel, uh, her second married name was Hale. There seemed to be um, some some issues here with uh, little typos, but um, I know I know it's her because that is her mother's maiden name and that's her father's correct name. And there is the marriage date. So the really nice thing about family search is I can go right over here on the left and I can copy that citation. It's already done for me. Now I'm going to go back to Mabel. And it's going to ask me, add a spouse? And I'm going to do that. Um, now, I did did check there. George, George Silkworth is not already on Wikitree. So I'm, I'm going to say I am want to create a new profile for this person. And now I'm going to add in George um, Silkworth. And his birth date. Um, now I took this from from his his person page on Family Search, but it is corroborated on on another record that I'm going to add as well. So I feel confident in that. Um, born in Brooklyn, Kings County, New York. Um, I don't have an exact death date, so I'm just going to put the month and the year. Um, also Brooklyn. Hmm. Why doesn't it give me the same as it did before? Kings. Interesting. All right. I'm going to go ahead with that. All right. So um, you may, if you wish, add some biographical detail here. Right at this moment, I, I myself, I prefer to wait. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paste in that marriage record, which very nicely gives me the date. Um, and now I'm going to say, this is optional, but just good practice, um, marriage record. Um, and again, it asks me for the, the details, 1922 certain Brooklyn, New York. Um, and she died March 30th, 1960. Um, so that would be the marriage end date. Whoops. No, I'm certain. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to continue. Um, now the system, um, if it is possible, especially with a common name, it may it may give you some possibilities like 
You didn't think there was a profile for this person, but have a look at these. And so you can scan through the list and, and look for, you know, dates or, or locations and, and do check out anything that seems close or, or possible. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and create my profile. And now it takes me to the profile. Uh, this is, he has become Silkworth42. Um, and I'm in edit mode here. So now I can add a couple of things. Um, I know that his, his middle name is something to do with F. So I'll go ahead and add that in. Um, and I can say uh, he was born in 1882. Uh, well, actually, I can say he was born on November 12, 1882, to Henry, um, okay, going back to this, to his parents, Charles, Charles Silkworth, and Alice Parks. Now, this is a really nice lead in to um, to Pam's question about personal categories. So if I if I had profiles for Charles and Alice, I would hyperlink them here so that a reader of the profile could quickly go uh, jump to their profiles. But um, I don't have time to do that right now. So I'm going to categorize them. So personal categories are things that are, they're like your personal to-do list on Wikitree. So you can see I've got several. I type in my ID and then I can see, ah, CO31 needs profiles created. So now that's going to add um, this profile to my list of profiles created. And then as soon as I see the bio, I'm going to say, aha, I can add Charles and Alice to the tree. So I may do that during Connectathon if I have a chance. Um, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and add on to the bio he married. Um, now I'll show you how to hyperlink. Um, Mabel, um, what- Sorry, I'm late by the way. Hi, Steve, welcome. Steve, Steve um, Greenwood is here, he's our, our fourth uh, host who's usually here. Um, and we're just creating a profile, Steve. Uh, right, and I see you might be getting into personal uh, categories as well. Yeah, so I'm just sort of warming warming the topic up. Okay, so, I, I was uh, going to try to help with that myself. Absolutely, we'll let you do the demo of that. Okay, um, cool. So now I was saying that if these two folks had profiles, I could hyperlink them, um, but they do not. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm just going to make sure that I am um, using the correct, yes, Mabel is Wilson too. So now if I want to hyperlink within the bio for Mabel, I'm going to say two square brackets per a Wikitree ID, the vertical line which in many keyboards is sort of over to the far right. Mm -hmm. And then however I want her name to appear. Wilson, close brackets, on January 16, 1922. Um, and then um, I think that's good for me. Um, I'm going to say I added a source. Oh, wait a minute, let me just, uh, just, to be thorough here, um, I did say that I had another record that that uh, corroborated his birth date, which is this um, his social security death index. So you see, there's the confirmation of his birth date. So I'm going to go to that um, again. Copy the citation. Go back. Um, now, right now I'm doing bullet point citations, which is where if you're brand new to Wikitree, that's where I recommend that you start. I'm gonna add an asterisk that creates the bullet point and I'm going to copy that in. 
Now, if you're a little more advanced, I know we have a range of levels here. If you're more advanced and you want to do inline citations, you could do this. Let me go back. I'm going to grab his marriage citation and I'm going to go to the statement about his marriage to Mabel. Now click C for cite. And now you see I've got these two little ref tags and I'm going to insert the marriage reference in there. Now mm -hmm. you can preview and see what that's going to look like. First yeah. of all, you can see I have the hyperlink to Mabel. And now his the fact of his marriage is linked directly to that source. Betsy, one little problem. Uh, what if you just use the wiki tree sourcer and just do the inline source instead of going all that different? Yes, yes. So that's a that's a good point. Um, and so the Wikitree sourcer um, will create a, a citation complete with then you don't have to use the C button. So you're on a source and it's going to create this for you. So complete with the ref tags. So also, there is also a quicker way of adding the link as well. Oh, what is that? Um, if you go to the person, if you go, for, if you scroll up a bit, Okay. Yeah. Um, right. You go to the, the spouse and you hover over it. It'll mm -hmm. click up and then you can just copy the, copy the um, link. Yes, the, copy wiki link. link. And, and that's then you can just paste that in right. rather than having to type it all out. Right, absolutely. And um, I'll do the double brackets and the pipe. Yeah. Yeah. If I were to do that, just so that everybody can see, um, and let me just put that here. Oops. There. Oh, okay. and it adds the birth and death date as yes. well. Yeah, right. That's like whatever's that. on there. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but now you don't need that uh, bullet point source. You can remove it. Exactly. So mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and, and by the way, when you do <clears throat> um, a source citation in Sourcer, just be aware that it's going to add the asterisks in for you. It's, it's very helpful. Sourcer is wonderful. So I'm going to leave that. Now, what have I done? I've added sources. I've improved the bio a tiny bit. I have categorized, and we're going to look at what that looks like. And full save. So now you can see that uh, George is in my profiles created category. And if I click on that, Here's my to-do list for Connectathon. These are all places where I can go and um, add profiles. So, yep. Uh, all right. Um, so that's a really nice segue. Steve, you want to show now how to? Uh, you want to take over and let me make you a co-host. Uh, yes. Yes. So I'm just. Uh... Okay, so I have co-host abilities now. Mm -hmm. Yep. You okay. Do. Now, the last time I tried to share my screen uh, with a genealogical society on Friday, um, my computer decided to overheat and shut down. So I'm going to hopefully not do this for too long because um, it may be having some issues. But if you lose me, that's why. Uh, but we'll go ahead and share the screen right now. And uh, I'm just going to start at my profile right now so everybody can see this yes yes Beautiful. okay great i probably have one of the longest profiles in all wiki tree so oh, just i don't know Murray might give you Murray all of this stuff we're gonna go we're gonna go to the very bottom past all of my things <laughs> keep going it's three years of stuff and comments so if i go to the very bottom i have linked my personal category uh to my profile so I'm going to click on that. And this is where I do a lot of my work from. Uh, this is the parent category of the multiple subcategories. And this also holds all the pages that I work on as well. 
uh, we're going to focus on the uh, personal categories that do things. So I have broken these up into a couple of larger, you know, subcategories, which they have within them nested smaller subcategories. So you can continue the, the category tree. Uh, I have a place for all my brick wall ancestors. So these are all the people that, you know, uh, are directly uh, ancestors to me, but uh, we can't go any farther. Like we can just look at that really quick. And there's like 60 or so people in here and they're mostly Germans. They're mostly really old Germans that we're trying to like push out those lines. Uh, a lot of them are also ladies who don't have uh, birth names known. Uh, they just have their married names. So that, that kind of overlaps with a little bit of those we, um, categories where we need to add surnames. Uh, another cool thing is if you have the browser extension, I believe uh, there are a couple of things at the top that pop up uh, where you can show like only unconnected profiles. So things that aren't connected to the tree. In this case, because they're, um, they're brick walls, they're pretty much connected. So we don't have any of those showing up. Uh, orphans are ones that don't have profile managers. I pretty much got all of those under my control. And then if they had any missing parents, well, pretty much everybody shows up. I think there's like one living person that don't, disappears uh, when we look at missing parent. But basically, you know, if, if this was different, if there were a variety of people that uh, had parents added, then they wouldn't show up on the list. And I know that we're pushing forward and I know that I need to take them out of this category, for example. Uh, and then if I go to, uh, here's one that says needs cemetery category built. So sometimes uh, there are cemeteries that get placed on pages and, you know, I just don't have time to create the category for the cemetery. Well, it kind of gets stuck in here and then you can see it's kind of piling up a little bit. So I know that I have a lot of things to uh, investigate. Um, if I add a cemetery that's got a lot of these people in it, then that's going to, you know, take a lot of these profiles out of that category. Uh, needing connection is one that I've created for uh, somebody that needs to be connected to the world tree. So this is just kind of a free floating uh, category. Actually, this is our notable Ray Stevenson, and he's still unconnected. Uh, Ray Stevenson uh, was known for various things. He was in Thor. Uh, he was in Star Wars. Uh, he was in Rome. So he, he passed away last year while he was filming a film. Um, but for some reason, he still isn't connected to the tree, even though he has 50 connections. You can see up here. Um, so that's that's something that I want to come back to as well. And that actually opened up a new tab. Let me see if I can just get this bar out of the way really quick. I have to move everything. <laughs> Ah, what's going on? I can't see the top bar. <laughs> oh, you have to maybe move it down. Move yeah, it. yeah, I have to just destroy tabs. So uh, then uh, profiles created is a big one. So you can see that this has a couple of subcategories based off these numbers right here, uh, three and nine. Uh, nine means there's things that are within it, and then three means there's uh, that many subcategories. Uh, clicking on that, I've broken this down into children and spirit and parents and spouse. Uh, and you can see these numbers are pretty uh, large as well. I, I got a, a lot of work to catch up on. And I think these profiles that were within this profile needed basically everything. So instead of just putting them in individual categories, I put them in the general needs profiles created category because these are bare bones and they really need a lot of work. But like I said, you know, if you go to the ones that need children, um, you know, these are a lot of my German ancestors again, and they just had a lot of kids. So I, there's, there's a lot to be done here. And I don't have to be the only one working on these. I mean, if somebody else wants to come in and help fill those in as well. That's, that's the point of collaboration here at the wiki. Uh, needs records is for uh, any things that need, you know, here we go. It's pre self-explanatory needs birth records, death records, marriage records, uh, this guy probably needed them all, so that's why he's in the basic category before the subcategory. Or he's he's in the subcategory, but he's not in the sub-subcategory. <laughs> and then I just created this one today. I, I felt like this was important for some of the unknowns I was working on. So Henrietta has a married name, but she doesn't have a birth name. And this kind of goes, again, hand-in-hand -hand with the brick walls because we don't know who her parents are because we don't know what her birth name is, right? So I just created another subcategory called Need Surname, and I'm going to start adding to that as well. Uh, but I'm not going to try to add all, you know, 300,000 category or, or profiles that don't have surnames because we already keep track of those in a different place. And then I just had fun with this one. This was called uh, Possible Relatives. 
this kind of goes directly into my research with my second great grandfather, where I'm not sure which of these Armstrong kids is my third great grandfather because of an adoption. Um, so it's just something for me to keep track of these people. Uh, there were some other people that showed up maybe as cousins for my DNA. So I'm just kind of keeping track of them. Uh, looks like I might have some connections to Australia. So that's kind of cool. Uh, and then at the bottom are pretty much all of my uh, free space pages because I'm a madman. Uh, and that includes all my Sauk County stuff from Wisconsin, all my German stuff from uh, Niedersachsen, uh, which is called Lower Saxony in English, uh, any other kind of German projects. Um, my attempt at doing the 15 by 15 tracker is hiding in here, <laughs> which I wasn't successful at. <laughs> so just, that's a place to hold all those sub pages. Um, and there's my profile. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much my personal category. Does anybody have any questions about that at all? I was walking the dog. Yes, she I do. Can you hear me? Confusing. Because she wanted to go with grandma. Um, can you just give an walking overall dog. explanation of categories? It sounds like. Oh. It sounds like it's just everything that you want to, like you said, you called it a to-do list. She was going to get left. Oh. And, uh, and Someone Karen else might need to mute um, really quick. And the dog was having a fit because when he thinks Karen's changing clothes. Hold on. Oh, okay. That was your end. Always. Yeah, it's me. I have somebody else here talking. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> So categories in general, again, we can use those to group people together of similar locations or similar, you know, maybe occupations or whatever they did, right? Um, and we can use tools within those categories to find out more things. Uh, I can just, you know, demonstrate that in a moment. Uh, but personal categories are another step where it's like, I don't want to have to deal with the general categorization because there might be a lot of stuff to sift through. This is stuff that I've uh, come across myself, and these are personal projects that I know I need to get back to myself because they're either my direct, you know, heritage or it's something I'm working on in that vicinity, you know, of like, you know, the, the Wisconsin profiles, for example. Um, so if you go to personal categories, which this is linking to, you can see everybody's personal categories that are within maintenance categories. So maintenance yeah. categories then branches off from everything else. Steve, um, Steve, yeah. you go back. Could you walk through the the macro from macro there? So go to go to find categories and just show okay. everybody. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, so we'll go to find, and then this goes to category categories, which should be the master category for all categories. There shouldn't be anything before this except categories, which it loops in on itself. Uh, so then, yeah, within there, there's maintenance categories right there. And if you click on maintenance categories, then if you scroll down, uh, personal categories is here with 880 subcategories. So that means there's 880 people that are using personal categories. And then this is the page I was just on. This is the 880 people. Well, we're, we're looking at the first 200 of them. Uh, but these are all people on Wikitree that have created uh, personal categories. And, you know, maybe I'll go delve into one of these really quick here. Uh, who's got some cool stuff? Uh, Brant. Uh, you, you can find me if you want. <laughs> oh, oh yes. I, good I, idea. Should I look for yours? Yeah, I'm at B-U-C. B-U-C. <laughs> oh, oh, it's your birth name. Yeah, B-U-C. Okay, so so B U C. Is it book or book? Buckle, buckle. buckle 52. Oh, buckle. Yep. Yeah. Here we are. Okay. My maiden name. So you have a orphan to do list. Yeah. This and is we have, which has 378 people in it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was people that I, that I, um, it was profiles that I created because I imported a JEDCOM because I am an early person and I could import a big JEDCOM in 2011. So these are people that I imported, but I've orphaned a lot of them because they're not direct ancestors. Well, but right, you can only yeah. you can only hold 5,000 people in your uh, Well, yeah, 5,000 and I've always and always seem to be keeping just over 5,000. <laughs> yeah, so so the personal category is a way to actually get around that limit for the watch list so you can still keep track of them. Mm. That's actually pretty helpful to have. And there's no limit on making personal categories, I don't believe there's any restrictions as long as it's benefiting the, the whole of the wiki, right? So mm. I'd say utilize them when you can. Mm. Um, but yeah, no, that, that's that's very cool that you got that. Um, 
again, some other people are more in depth than others. Uh, this Crawford person has like what 12 subcategories. So they got a whole bunch of Canada sub project stuff they're working on. Uh, one name study, um, project planning pre 1500 Scotland. Uh, and then they have all of their sub pages that they're working on. So I, I think these are immensely helpful for anybody doing research on the wiki. Um, and then that, you know, you can just have your own little area to focus on whatever you're hey, working said, on. What do you mean? That's so, so I'm a little right. slow about this. Can you walk through how do you create your original personal profiles? And then do you just name randomly name your subcategories or your yes. Yeah, I'm I'm going to uh, Steve, if it's OK, I have a uh, I was going to demo creating a personal category. Is that OK? Are you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, here that? at the bottom. I just want to indicate that this is where I clicked on it from. So on your profile, you would just, you know, create a new category by doing the double bracket, uh, putting the word category in a colon, and then whatever your name is. So, so whatever your profile ID is would be the name of your personal category. And when you close it off and you save the profile, it'll ask you, well, this is a new category. It doesn't exist. It'd be like, save anyway, it creates that. Then you would want to go in when you create that personal category so i'll edit it here and we just move a screen oh, thank you. so when you create it then it's a matter of putting it in the right place and i said basically this is the parent personal category for me links back to me and then i made sure that it had the category personal categories attached to it so that will put it in the category for all the people who have personal categories and when you save that you know, then it becomes a thing that would get inflated later. And then you would create subcategories later. If you went to a profile for like, for example, my brick wall ancestor, then I'm just going to select um, <coughs> August here. Right. And he didn't have this category before. And this is my fourth great grandfather. Uh, but again, I went to, you know, the categories within the edit. Let me, let me actually edit him really quick or just faux edit. And if I go to here, you can see he's got a lot of different categories, but I created, maybe he didn't have this, but let's just say that I created this category and I typed in my name and then whatever I wanted to put in there for it, in this case, brick wall ancestors, and then I saved it. It told me it didn't exist, but I saved anyway. And then it gave me uh, the category at the bottom of the page. And then that allowed me to go to create that category. And then I added this word or, or this wording at the top which again is pretty generic. And I made sure it had my, uh, my subcategory of Greenwood 3667. So it creates that tree branch. It creates that category branch. And, and you just keep doing that. And you just do that over and over again until you have all these different subcategories nested within uh, your subcategory. Does that make sense at all? I know still... all the words you said, but it all is completely opaque. Okay, shall we shall we walk through an example? Yeah, you want to take over in this, Betsy? <laughs> yeah, yep. And I'll stop uh, sharing. Steve, actually, if you could, Yvonne, Yvonne has just added asked about uh, a guide to wiki markup code. Um, could I know you found this uh, before my my cheat sheet um, and drop that in the chat, Steve. Oh, oh, yes, I, I can look yeah. for that right now. Okay, Sorry. thank you. And um, because I already have poised in my there, this is a YouTube link. Um, so Pam, I think this is what you saw before um, when I gave this tip on um, how to create personal categories. It was on the Saturday Roundup live cast. So if you go to that YouTube link, it will take you straight to the tip section. You don't have to watch 40 minutes to get to it. And, and you can re-watch uh, that if there's any confusion after what we do today. Um, so let me go to share screen. I basically have uh, have all the personal categories that I, I need, uh, but I thought of one more that I could do uh, today. So um, can everybody see help personal categories? Yes. Okay. 
Um, so what I'm going, going to do is I'm going to go back to, uh, to Mabel um, and I'm going to create a, um, let's see, Wilson 2. I'm going to create a category for profiles where I need to do a newspaper's lookup um, because I'm not on newspapers.com, um, you know, all the time. So I need, and, you know, I sort of, it would, it would be really helpful to have a running list so that when I do have this uh, subscri subscription, I could, you know, um, barrel through everything I need to get done. So here's what you need to do. Okay. Um, I go into edit mode. And now I'm going to categorize. Now, here's an imper important point um, that you're going to see is that categories, the code for categories go above the biography heading, which is this. This is the biography heading. Um, anything like stickers, those go below the biography heading. So um, for what that's worth, um, so all your personal categories are going to start with your Wiki tree ID. Um, do I have <coughs> double brackets, don't I? Let me just, you know what I'm gonna do so that I don't make any sort of mistake. Okay, so what I'm gonna, I, I just put that in as a, as a model. Now I'm going to I guess I don't need the brackets there. Okay. Co 31. Yeah. Um, it is nice that it can search your existing categories at least in case mm -hmm. you forgot mm -hmm. that maybe you created it or you're looking for the exact title for it. Needs newspaper. Now notice it doesn't recognize it anymore. So it's, it's, I'm on, my, I'm on my own and I'm going to go is that going to create it from there or do you need to just no, type it you know what? I think I need to do it manually. Yeah. You can only select it if it exists. Otherwise you have to type it into right. the. Okay. So category yep. co 31. And then you don't need the underscores. Needs newspaper lookup close brackets. Uh -huh. Okay. And now I'm going to say that I have categorized and I'm going to do a full save. Now, here's where you have to be brave because you're gonna get these, the first time that you create a category, you're gonna get this sort of angry looking red box. Uh, category mm -hmm. problems were red found. Box. Okay, go ahead, save anyway. So this is what I was talking about earlier is that you're going to yeah. get that little query that pops up. Yep. It'll tell yep. you that it doesn't exist. You can override it. Right, exactly. Now here I'm, I'm out of edit mode. I'm still on Mabel's profile. And now when I go down to the bottom um, to see her categories. Uh, I think I yours is set up differently. It's at the top. Oh, it's at the top. Wait, where? Oh, there, there we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you'll notice I added her to um, one of my, she does need a bio, so <laughs> I'm fine with that. Um, and, but notice that this one that I just did is in red. Okay, so go ahead. This is a brand new profile. This will not happen, you know, subsequent times that I add to this. I'm going to click on it. It's going to take me here. Okay, now here is where I'm going to put Co 31. Make sure you have category before that. Thanks, Steve. Category colon. Co 31. Okay. And that is going to tell the Wikitree system where, where to nest the newspaper lookup subcategory. It's going to be listed, uh, nested under my main personal category. I think it'll still work with the space, but I usually take the space out just for my purpose. Oh, you mean after the colon? Yeah, I, I know that it, I think the pro program will still recognize it with a space, but I think to be consistent, it would be right. right. probably just best to do it without. Okay. All right. So save the page. 
Ta-da! Okay, so here, here is my newspaper lookup category with my one person so far, Mabel. Okay, and if I were to go and let let's uh let's go back to Mabel for a second. I know that um let's see, let's go to her one of her husbands and let's also add him to the category. And you'll see that it's um it's gonna come right up. Co 31 needs. Mm, you just created it. It won't show up automatically in there for up. a couple of minutes at least. Oh, a couple of minutes. Okay. Well, that's so you'll okay. have to override it by hand if you do it immediately. Okay. Co thirty one. Betsy, no. No. Not in that field. Oh, right, right. You have to type it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's okay. We we're all human here. <laughs> Even as people who have been here for about five, ten years, yeah. But like I said, eventually when it does pop up, it's gonna be so much simpler. You'll be able to grab it and go. I say maybe it, the the system will take about an hour. Newspaper singular, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Yep. Now it'll tell you if you didn't spell it right. It'll say that the category doesn't exist. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. And there, see it. It's no more angry red. And now I have the two of them in the category. Well, everything is still defaulting pink. Is that because of our February uh, no. theme or something? No. Or it's because I. That's the way I set up my WikiTree browser extension, so that mm -hmm. if something is pink, it means I know that I have visited that page. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, but there it is. Yeah. Pam, does that help? Oops. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry. <clears throat> um, yes. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, Denise. Yeah. Just, just one other tip when you create a new category. Um, you, you'll see there you've got a, a couple items listed behind that category name, the ID, the link, the URL, and then the term use or use. If you click on that use, it will recreate that category for you. So if you've got other profiles that you want to add to that category right away, oh. right after you've created it, you click on use. Exactly. Uh -huh. And oh. then you'll be able to paste that category okay, into your good. new profile. Okay, so I, I wouldn't have had to have been embarrassed like I just was. Oh, I'm well, sorry. You know, you know, you learn. Say all that again. <laughs> sure. Um, so <laughs> so um, similar to how Hillary pointed out that I did not need to uh, type out. Remember when I was hyperlinking Mabel's name and she pointed out copy ID or actually copy the wiki link. Yeah. So this mean, so if I copy that, it's going to copy what I just typed into my into the field when I was trying to add it to the second profile. I've never seen that before. I, I don't, know, that's that a new feature. Thank yes, it is. You. Yeah, Thank it's you. been there a while. I've been using it for about a year now. <laughs> we all learn new things, right? That's exactly. Cool. Every day. Yep. I mean, there's, there's really truly too much on Wikitree for most of us to know everything. And that's why why the community collaboration is so, so amazing. So do you just copy that there and then you yep. go paste it, paste it on yep. the profile that you're doing? Here, let me go That's ahead. That's correct. Yeah. Copy. And now let me go to, um, see who, who on my watch list. Well, let me go to, um, Mildred. Uh, yep. Mildred. And now, remember, it goes above the biography. See, I have given her a New York sticker, which goes below the biography. And ta-da, ta -da, 
Yes, I just yeah, and it automatically produces the space between category and, and the the name of the category. So, if it's doing that automatically, it shouldn't be an issue. It's still going to be there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now we see that, and we see the sticker, and everything is in good order. We'll go back to category now. We can see all three of them. Yeah. Yep. That's so, right. Just rinse and repeat. <laughs> And then go to code 31 and they can see that it subcategorizes. Right. And now it's been added to your existing subcategories. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, Steve, were you able to get the useful tips for Wikicode? And oh, yeah, that's in the chat. Okay, wonderful. And I just want to um, emphasize to everybody that this is my personal she cheat sheet. And what I'm what I mean by that is it was what I needed and what worked for my brain. So I'm I'm thrilled if it helps you. Um, but don't be afraid to make your own as you as you proceed along your WikiTree adventure. Um, you're gonna find things that are like, oh, I gotta remember that, or um, this will be really handy. And just make a free space page um, and and start gathering your own list. And, and you can also peruse other people's too. I don't think that's an oh, issue. Yeah. 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 I mean, because they might have other things that they're working on that you're interested in, you know, or that uh, these are good places to get ideas. Just kind of peruse the, the personal categories that are out there. Right. Oh, this is going to help a connected find. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> good. Good. I'm glad. Um, Bruce, um, you were you were lost before. Do you feel a little less lost? Yeah, yeah, and then I'm I've I've got the tabs already open for the uh, or, or ready for the the things you guys posted in the chat. So I I will look those up as well. Okay, all right, wonderful. And um, part of the thing, you know, it's, it's your screen just has different colors and different you know look than mine does, and so sometimes that that also is confusing. Yeah, yeah, abs absolutely. Is that because of you, the way you've set up your wiki tree? Um, yes. Although, did you say that you do have the WikiTree browser extension? Yes. You do. I, I haven't done any, you know, major Can, setup with colors or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, uh, that is, um, uh, I, it helps my brain to see the family on the right hand side, rather than in a list, you know, underneath the main person's name. Uh huh. Yeah, so, exactly. On that, yeah. Um, so you, that, that's how you moved your categories up to the top instead yes. of at the very bottom. Yes. That oh, was a okay. WikiTree browser um, option adjustment. Yeah. Yeah, okay. mine will default at the bottom. I just prefer them all to be at the bottom, so I have my own preference. That's what the browser extension allows us to do. Bruce, that's in the readability options. Okay. I also wanted to point out uh, while we're talking about categories. The beautiful thing called my connections i wanted to showcase that for anybody that hasn't seen that yet oh yeah sure it'd be okay if i screen share again sure go ahead okay so i'm going back to my brick wall ancestors uh category here because these people should definitely be related to me right and the brick wall ancestors uh you can see at, back at the top of the page there is a button called my connections over here on the upper right so I'm going to click on that and let's just see. They should all be ancestors, so they're going to highlight as such, but it'll actually tell me how far back these ancestors are. Now, in another situation, if you click on another random uh, category, you may not find ancestors. You might just find cousins. Um, and so that would be another section below that where it would say, you know, cousins. Uh, but this, you know, well, sorry, this is ancestors and cousins, but the way it identifies ancestors from cousins is that it does have the word ancestor behind every one of those people's names. So I have some very close ones that I've been working on that don't have much information. Uh, but then I go all the way back here. I got some really old ones back to like 1591. So Hans Harms, you know, is showing up as my farthest one 15 generations back. Um, furthermore, if I want to see that relationship to that person, I can click on the relationship finder and it shows the actual, uh, it says, you know, he's my 13th great grandfather or I'm his 13th great grandson. So you can see all of those people that it travels through that way. Uh, you can also go to, I thought, where's the other button? <laughs> Maybe it doesn't work like this. You have to go to connection finder. That's it. Uh, I was going to say connection finder could show uh, 
um, the pathway in which something takes. So let, mm -hmm. let's let's use a different category here really quick. Um, I'm going to go to possible relatives. And I'm just going to click on my connections here and see if there's any other pathways that it takes to get these people, even though they might be related to me, I might still connect to them a different way. Uh, and so far, it doesn't show any actually connected to me as ancestors or cousins because it hasn't seen those connections. But it does show that the connections away from them are within 21 to 26 degrees. So uh, this is somebody that I think might be my fourth great grandfather. But it doesn't see the connection yet. However, uh, it does go through some of my heritage and then it follows through other people. So, for, you know, Ballard's Honeycutt, Stouts, Millet's Bonds, and then to Armstrong. So it kind of wraps itself around through a different part of America. And then if you click on Alternative View Generational Path, this will show uh, the pathway in which it takes to get to uh, those locations. So it goes, drops down a little bit, and then it kind of shoots over here until it uh, zooms back to the other side of the page, which I have to move so I can get my bar there. Yeah, so then it keeps dropping back down into the Armstrong Sierra 1700s and then finally turns the corner and comes back in as uh, Armstrong Line and Wisconsin. So, uh, so utilizing the categories in addition to utilizing the connection finder and the relationship finder, uh, th those are some things that we can do with categories is mm -hmm. get those people together and then identify, you know, who those people might be. Yeah, especially, especially uh, interesting to do on a cemetery category. Um, oh, yeah, especially if you're related to everybody. A in relative that. buried in a cemetery. Well, run that connection finder and you might be surprised at who else is buried there. Yeah, so connections are, are categories are very helpful in multiple yeah. reasons like we just showed today. Well, um, for a few of us, we do have to keep this close as close to an hour as possible. Um, but do we have any, and we have time for just a few minutes for questions. Um, any, any burning questions? Yeah, I do. Cause is I don't have, place... to... oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Bruce. I was gonna say, is there a place that you can uh, post suggestions? Uh, for, for things that you'd like to see covered in these sessions? Oh, no, for uh, on WikiTree, things that, for example, I, I oh. would really like it to be able to parse a date entered with periods. Yes. What I can I... 10 key like mad, and, and the period is so much easier to hit than the hyphen. Yeah. Yeah. What I would recommend is to post something on G2G. Okay. Um, and and um, then other people can chime in. And, um, you know, I think, I think if you tag it as um, probably suggestions, there might even be a category for suggestions. I almost always uh, post to the treehouse, which is general, general sorts of announcements, but I think there might be a more technical board on G2G and um, the, so sure. that that suggestion gets to the right ears and eyes. I'm just doing a search for it right now. Uh, help you... suggestions. There is actually a help page oh, on it. Okay, fantastic. But uh, I don't know if that's okay. the same types of suggestions. This could be related to uh, WikiTree Plus. Errors, warnings, and hints. That's that's what it talks about as suggestions. Is that different? Yeah, suggestions is when you're getting pro uh, an, a problem with a profile and, and it points out what problems you might there might be on a profile right that that's what we're looking at is is suggestions mm -hmm. if there's a warning if there's a misspelling if it's not lining up with some wiki data or um, find a grave data um, those are those are what we call suggestions on wiki tree so maybe you have to go to the g2g if you're looking for something more specific bruce could you explain your problem again so you're you're entering it's a date a problem yeah, if you if you in the birth date like type in ten dot eight dot nineteen fifty four, it will not accept it. It will not be able to read it. You have to use hyphens. That's because you and want it turns to it in, when it, the month. when it when it after it parses it, it turns it into eight October nineteen fifty four on its own. But it will not take the periods. The thing is, okay. we write and, and you and you do have a WikiTree browser extension enabled, right? Yes. Okay. We write our 
our dates differently to you, the people in the States do yeah. and some other places possibly. So therefore you have to have some kind of standard. So it, you just, because if I put, if I put eight, 10, um, something in, I'd, I'd expect it to be the 8th of um, October. Whereas if you put it in, you might expect it to be the 10th of August. So. Right, but if I use hyphens instead of periods, it'll take it. And it assumes it's in the, it, and I think that's a setup, but I, I, it assumes it's the American way mm. with the hyphens. So, so with, the I, Wiki, I don't... with the Wikitree browser extension, you're, you're able to tell it whether you use um, international date format or American date format. Right, but it still won't do dots. Right, so I'll, I'll, um, I'll, I'll send a note to Ian about that. Um, maybe, yeah, it's, maybe it's, it's we... trivial, it's just easier <laughs> for me because I, I, I can wail on an adding machine. <laughs> <laughs> And, and yeah. ancestor uses dots, uh, and so I've I've gotten used to that all over the years of uh, all the things I do in ancestry. I do it with a ten key with the periods. Sure, so I, I understand. Just have to stop yeah, and I'll, I'll, I'll I'll send a note to Ian about this. Okay, thank you, Mary. Helps to know people who have friends in high places. Uh -huh. And Karen, <laughs> did you question. you had a question too, Karen? I did, but I think I answered it myself while you guys were talking. I was oh. trying to figure out how to add my original personal profile, uh, personal category, and I think I've done it. Okay. okay. Do you want us to look at it and see? No, I can go. Well, you can, but I can go back uh, and look at the recording and see how Betsy did that, because I think that she did that on on her demonstration. Right. right. So it's and basically it's surname dash number and then you know that creates the category it's just you. categories with a semicolon and then my wiki tree id right yeah yeah yes. and then closing yeah. it with brackets correct and correct. then close it yeah yep mm -hmm. um so as always my door is always open you've seen you see my wiki tree id many times today to. because of what we were doing um but uh, feel free to send me a private message with any questions that come up yeah murray no, I'm waving bye. Oh, you're waving goodbye. Okay. <laughs> well, bye. <laughs> on, on that note, I'm going to stop the recording and thank you all for coming. And we'll see you uh, um, next month. Thanks. Thank you.